Harrison. Hello. <gasps> Excuse oh. me. <laughs> I was like, I was like, very quiet. I'm also sound issues. waving at the audience. But hello, everyone, and welcome. This is episode 62 of the Novo Convo podcast, where two stupids make a right and hype. That's right. right and hype. It's hype. Yeah. yeah. I'm one of your hosts, Veronica Bow, and I'm joined by Harrison No. He's over there. Right over that here. Way. Yeah. But if you're new here, we both just want an excuse to talk about anything that ranges from anime to comics because some would say it's conversing. <gasps> wow. Like Novo Convo. Like Novo Convo, Convo and GOVO Convo. Wow. Who it's like thought? our two last names combined. Yeah, look and up. We're that's conversing. how you do it. That's how you do it. Yeah, if you're yeah, on yeah. YouTube, that's how you do it. <laughs> it's crazy. You can watch every episode on YouTube.com or listen to it as a podcast by searching Novo Convo on your podcast service of choice. We are on ten different platforms. We're everywhere. We are literally everywhere. 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 And in this episode, we are going to be talking about Miss Marvel. So, if you haven't fig- finished season one or the series i i don't know how to yeah it's only six episodes it's on disney plus binge it it's over each episode's about 40 minutes actually this time around nothing yeah, was like... under nothing was under 30 minutes this time oh i didn't even notice yeah. that yeah it was oh, like okay. all 40 huh. minutes yeah so you know bum off the disney plus account like harrison bum go watch it <laughs> you know yeah do your usual before you come back and listen to us. Easy. But as always, we are sponsored by Anchor, which we'll get into later. Much later. later. Much a little later. later. A little later. Yeah. But Harrison, what are your Veronica. non-spoiler thoughts? Non-spoiler thoughts coming in? I... How are you feeling? I actually enjoyed this show a lot more than I thought I would. I didn't okay. know what to expect. Again, this is the classic phase four. I don't know what to expect anymore at this point mm-hmm. because it's diverging. But also, I'm not. I've also learned that I'm not very versed in the Young Avengers, like that group of like heroes. Like that, yeah, yeah. Because they are moving towards that, and I know of the Young Avengers. I'm also just not a huge Marvel fan because at at the time I was just like, or not as big as I. You thought you like. were. <laughs> and I didn't even think I was that big of one. I'm more of a DC person, but again. I know What's that DC? they're moving towards. Oh, shut up. <laughs> I know. I know they're moving towards um, the Young Avengers at this point with a lot of people. So it's actually really cool that they are introducing Miss Marvel, and I think this was this one Moon Knight and like like I feel like the shows are actually really good. It's just mm-hmm. there's some that I feel like could have been movies. This one I think was one good as a show, mm-hmm. good plot. I think I had fun. I think aesthetically it was really pleasing. There's a lot of little stuff, like there's a lot of cues that you can't just leave the show in the background. Like they they do yeah. things by like context yeah. or like on screen that you have to kind of pay attention to. We can kind of talk about yeah, that in detail, talk about but that that's a little bit. Yeah, I thought the that was one of the plus like big pluses for me, and yeah, I thought it was really good. I enjoyed it a lot. I actually recommend this show a lot. I like yeah, no. I agree with everything you've said. I was su- thoroughly surprised because this is like a coming of age like mm-hmm. TV show, and usually with those like it doesn't hit our age group anymore particularly. Yeah, and, oh, yes, exactly yeah. that. Yeah, I didn't even notice that. That's the thing. I usually don't like those shows, but yep. I didn't even notice it this time. Yeah, and I don't know if it was because they like Disney fied it or it's like Marvel fied, like MCU fied, but it fit very well, like for our age group. Because yeah. a lot of our friends really enjoyed it. Mm-hmm. And, no, I totally agree. It, it, I lowered the bar for this one, one, because I was unsure of how they were going to do her. Because she's, like, kind of, like, the first, like, Muslim superhero. And, like, she's 15, 16. And we, we haven't seen that yet, like, that age range. So, yet. Well... Besides Spider Man, but like he's like, and well, I mean, American Ch- now. Oh, I guess it's American well, Child is to an extent. Okay, in show format. In show format. Show format. No. No. Now especially, especially when you're like hitting puberty, you know. Okay, like a focus show. Like, yeah, I don't, yeah, 
Yeah. Not crazy. Not like a like Spider Man's different. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, yeah, yeah. You know? That, that yeah. makes sense. But like in Disney Plus, like the Marvel shows right now. Yeah, I don't think. We truly have not seen it, honestly. Yeah, and also, this was the first show that I like binged because I waited because oh. I wasn't sure of like if I wanted to wait do like at weekly. So I was um like. Kind you of... didn't fully binge though, right? Or did you? No, I did. I waited till like the last week, like huh. the on the last episode, like the next day. I just like binged all of it. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. I kind of, I kind of did. I didn't really watch it week. I actually no, I binged at the end too. I waited till, mm. it, but I was just busy. But I was busy. Well, I wonder with what. <laughs> I I was busy, so I didn't have time. Yeah. to like, actually. Watch I know you watched it, so. the first like two episodes before me, and then yes. you stopped. Yeah. Then I stopped. Yeah, yeah. And then you stopped. Yeah. Yeah. No, else? that's a, no. Yeah, that's a good point. I never noticed like the com- the coming of age thing. Usually, I'm like. That's one of the reasons why I don't like CW shows as much anymore because mm, anytime yes. they start incorporating like younger teenagers, people, yeah, or because the audience is that they try to focus more on like they have the action, but they still try to have drama, like the yep. romantic drama going on. I'm like, I hate it. I it, it was hate very it. subtle. It was subtle. No, it was very subtle. Yeah, and it was actually I was actually interested in this. I was actually like kind of interested. I was like, oh, is she gonna? Essentially, it's like, oh, she into this person. I'm confused, but it wasn't yeah. even like, yeah, yeah. it wasn't in your face about it too much. Which was and if nice. anything, it was incorporated into the plot or character plot in a sense. Anyway, so it was fine. I thought yeah. they, they did it well. So going forward, I hope they do this for like Ironheart or like um, any other like younger. Oh, yeah, because they, oh, well, it's not a focus because like in Hawkeye, Kate Bishop was just a side character. Well, this one, it is fully yeah. focused on. No. It's fully on so her. That's yeah. why I was like, I think there was a younger one, but it wasn't like a focused show. So, yes. Yeah. I think yeah. the next one would be Ironheart. As a show. It will be not Ironheart uh, next yeah. year. Yeah. yeah. We'll get into that. Oh, another episode. Yeah, yeah. Another episode. But before we get into spoiler thoughts, we are going to take a quick break to talk about our sponsor. On this episode, we are sponsored by Anchor. It is a free podcast hosting service that we actually use. We've been using Anchor since we've started the podcast. It's because there are creation tools that allow us to record and edit the podcast right from our phones and computers. A huge plus for us is that Anchor would distribute our podcast to all platforms such as Spotify, Apple, iTunes, Google Podcasts, and many more. It really is everything that you need to make a podcast all in one spot. Please download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm, A-N-C-H-O-R dot F-M to get started. Wow. wow. And we're back. We're back. Oh my goodness. Okay. Spore thoughts. Three, two, one. <laughs> I don't know if Harrison's ready for this. <laughs> oh, I mean, I, was like, I mean, I was. I was trying to think of where to start. Going? I was like, am I starting or are you starting? Um, but... How do you feel about the parents? I think it was good. I think it was a very good, like, it, so I think my one thing was, I think I actually felt like I, um, what's the word? Not associated, but I felt. Related? Did you feel yeah, like it, it was relatable? It, it was really, yeah, that's what, it felt relatable for me. Cause I yeah. think for, and this is something I've learned like in the past few years, cause we have, uh, one of our friends is Muslim and then, but then like I had like a lot more interactions with the community meet community in like the past like few years yeah but like it's just hearing like things like you know like issues that like kids have growing up any of the kids that or any issues she had in the show i also felt like we had in the show we had yeah like it was funny because like um kamala's older brother um it it was also weird because he was getting married and i just got married but like all the things he was dealing with i'm like whoa i felt that too Yeah. Or, like, how he would, like, try to, like, help out the younger sibling. It was, like, something I'd try to do occasionally. Or I felt like I've seen that, like, with other siblings. It's, like, oh, we try to, like, help each other out to an extent. Um, yeah, the generational trauma was very much relatable. Yeah. Or, like, <laughs> yeah, it was definitely one of those, like, because of what they had to go through with um, the part partition. Yeah. It, it kind and like of felt immigrating to the US yes. and kind of starting over. Um, so, yeah, just... I, I don't know. I did want to say, like, that's one of the big reasons why, but it was one of those. It helped. I felt 
it felt more relatable for me personally where i was no. just watching yeah. it, i was like, oh wow yeah this is kind of like what we kind of had to go through because it's always like oh the parents want to do what's best for the kids all this stuff so yeah. it was it was really interesting to see like it is the stereotypical part of the mom was the rebellious one so mm-hmm. that's why she worried so much so yeah eh. but i mean i'll, yeah, yeah. I'll give it that so what about you How- i agree um it was very relatable i so our friend who does not watch or who doesn't catch up on a lot of shows hence why we do this podcast he's muslim and he actually binge not binge he's not even done (laughs) he's only on the third episode but he was watching the first three episodes and he was like oh yeah there's a lot of muslim jokes in here like because we always like you know crack on with him like about like <laughs> the, like, Muslim, mainly, like, like phrases mainly like that's halal that's halal yeah brother. that's yeah yeah um it's just like how our, like our group interacts so yeah. i was like oh how are they gonna like incorporate like the community and like you know all these jokes the, in the and aunties it was were done so real very well yes the aunties were the aunties you mean the illumi aunties <laughs> illumi aunt- oh man that was yeah, the aunties um, were done very well. I think, like, the mosque part was done very well. It was, <laughs> it was just, like, kind of, like, the division between, like, men and women because I think in their culture, it's very much the men dominating, you know, work life, like, anything that concerns the mosque and stuff. So it's very, like, man, like, dominating. It's very patriarchal. Yeah, very yeah. Patriarch. It's like and a, so a I thought it was, like, very interesting... Scale. You know that there's two young ladies just wanting to <laughs> be on the board of the mosque. Yeah, or at least like <laughs> specifically Kamala's or, friend. Yeah, because Kamala was just trying to like was just essentially like marketing. Yeah, and I thought th- I thought they did it very well. The Muslim jokes mm-hmm. were done very well. Just like the jokes all around, like between parents and kids, were done very well. Um, I don't have any siblings, but I thought the sibling relationship, like especially the age gap. I can see how it like you know affects her and mm-hmm. everything. I thought that was all done, and she's a nerd. Yeah, Kamala is a no, nerd. but they they kept that because Kamala in the comics is also just it's essentially like Kamala like supposed a nerd. to be like the most relatable for comic book readers because she's yeah. also just a huge fan. Yeah, she, like I everything. mean she's a YouTuber. She <laughs> they only touched on that for like two the seconds. Intro yeah <laughs> but and i thought that's why i was like interested because i thought she would try to pull that more but not a big thing that she didn't i was just like oh yeah yeah she didn't do that now that you remind me um yeah so she does like sketches um yeah. the the one scene that we saw she she's a youtuber she does sketches mm-hmm. and then that was like the end of it because the rest of it was like her trying to go to like avenger con with mm-hmm. her friend um yeah I think that was like the first episode, was it not? Yeah, it like was. Her and Bruno. Yeah. Yeah, okay. her and Bruno. Okay. Yeah. How'd you feel about her and Bruno? That's who. Who do you? Who ship did her I with? ship her with? Yeah. Um. I think. Uh, man, it, this is the part I was talking about. I was like, oh, I'm kind of back and forth because um, what's his what's the Jin one? I forgot his name all of a sudden. Uh, uh Cameron. Cameron. Yeah. Comrade. Yeah, it was Cameron? like him. Comrade? Yeah. And then the other guy in the red daggers. I forgot that guy's name. Oh. But it was like between I the, his name. It was between yeah. those two. That it was, was like, like three. Yeah. There's three guys three, that were like pining, kind of pining over yeah. him. Yeah. Yeah. It was kind of. Did I feel bad for Bruno? Kind of. But also, he just. Yeah. But that's my. It was those two. I didn't really consider Bruno, honestly. I mean, I get it. Really? Also, no. I mean, really? okay. I see it. Okay. But I personally wouldn't do it. I personally wouldn't ship. It's okay. hilarious. Yes. Okay. I thought... I mean, I feel like Bruno did the most for her. No, yeah. 100%. You no. Know, well, like, absolutely. I feel like he would have dropped out of, like, Caltech for her. Yeah. Literally. But, yeah, but... But... <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it's the classic he didn't shoot his shot, and he just kind of sat there. He just stayed in the friend zone. It's fine. It's whatever. But... I, wow, I feel like I triggered you. <laughs> no, not really. I was like, what's going on here? I think it's just one of those, I've seen it enough that I'm like, 
All right, whatever. You're like, yeah, it's, it's in <laughs> passing now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm old for this shit. All right, but I do want to jump into like Bruno helping out with all that stuff because at that point in episode one, she got the bangle, right? From her Yeah, bangle. yeah. I actually, so by the time the show finished, I'm very happy that they went this route with how her powers work because in the comics, from my understanding, it was very like Mr. Fantastic-esque. Oh, like she stretches. Like enlargement. She stretches. It, it was or, all about yeah. enlargement and everything. Yeah. And it was yeah, cool. It was fine. It was cool. But I think I, I think like this, this version. This version seems very much cooler and it's more unique. And I think that plays to like the character itself a lot. And better. it's more her. It is more her. It's more her. It is not just the fact that she's because okay. And then the other thing was in the comics, she's an inhuman because of that whole like box marvel debacle thing with yeah inhuman well like, i mean surprise she is surprise she's mutant. the first actual mu- confirmed mutant in our in, in MCU. The mcu yeah so that's cool and i was super hyped to know that because i thought about them if some because some people online were like wait we already knew they were mutants i'm like no we don't no we didn't because they, yeah, they're didn't. like oh what about professor x i'm like that's a different universe that's Cause, because x-men like legitimately just went into like mcu so, yeah. like signed with mcu like a year yeah. ago so so, so x-men that we know of is not in the, well no it's no not it's canon. not just that well it's not that specific. it's more like how professor x spoiler alert was in multiverse oh, of that Madness. one oh, so technically yeah. that's why it's like oh technically yes but no that's still but they have universe. not like verbally said for like this universe. For this universe, yeah. yeah. Okay, I get it. Yeah, so yeah. Kamala, because Kamala was apparently, it was, I looked into it. I was curious. He was originally supposed to be a mutant. Yeah. But because of the whole legality of like inhuman mar or in mutant, I, and I think that's shit, why they waited. They until waited. They yeah, got they, all the licensing. Yes. Yeah. There were certain things that they probably didn't want to touch or could not touch. So. Yeah. But hey, it's a start. Yes. It's a start to it's get really cool. X Men in. Yeah. Overall, How'd you I like feel? Her yeah, I agree. How'd you feel about all the fight scenes with with her in it? It was good. Um, I think there wasn't too much, honestly, at all. I, I believe like in the first three, half. In the first half. Yeah, two or three in the first half. Because the first half was like more focused on like her just learning how to use the powers. But mm-hmm. by the end, I was like all in. I was like, oh, this is really cool. It's really aesthetic. It yeah. was just really cool to watch. It's very colorful. But it's a colorful scene. I series. love her costume by the end. Yes. I was so irked by the first half. I hated it so much. I'm like, this is stupid. But I and get uni- it. And the uniform that she got is like symbolizes like it was a gift from her mother and like all the colors together. Like if mm-hmm. it if it's her. If it's her. Yes, yes. Do you think Oh well sorry, going back, I also liked how they always somehow Marvel's really good about this in their shows and movies. They somehow, or mainly shows so far, I think, but movies too. Um, they always somehow get a good chance to introduce the OG esque costume. Ah, yes. Because the one in or that one social media girl, her costume was like the the original, right? Original, just not the right same color, but it is almost like but it's like OG Miss or OG Miss Marvel, Captain Marvel suit suit yeah. yeah it was nice to see zoe yeah i was a little confused on the bully because like at the beginning she was like don't like you but then like kamala like saved her life and then like she jumped in at the end helping her and i was like you knew all along no, yeah she's a very that that was a very i honestly like her character is very throwaway oh honestly. yes yeah. so that's why i didn't i guess i never focused on it too much because i was like I was okay. kind of scratching my head cool. at the very end. I was like, wait. wait it didn't, wait, no, wait, wait. I agree. It didn't make sense too much. Yeah. No. It didn't. Um, How, how'd you feel about the backstory um, of the grandmother, the grandmother's backstory? Oh, I was so invested in that episode. Like, I it was think good. we kept hearing about it. But then, of course, like, time and multiverse is a bitch. And she's just going to come off like, oh, I'm the one that saved my grandma. But yeah. it was so, but it was crazy to, like, one, it was really cool to see them essentially actually addressing like history on that because i'm a Mm -hmm. i'm a i'm a sucker for all that kind of stuff right for history so it was really cool to see them like actually depict what was going on what the tension and everything 
And I think it was very impactful that Kamala got to like actually help with that at the end. It was so sweet. Was so how sweet. did you feel about how they actually just kind of went there? And do you understand what I mean by how they went there with essentially with the went there uh, with the with, gin? No, well, no, the 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 police or like the not police, but like the the department. Oh! How they like just made oh, them very oh, 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 like stereotypically like culturally with the school, right? ignorant. Yeah. Oh yeah, well, no, that was school, bad time. That inter- was bad timing. That was bad timing. Because yeah, that was just bad timing. Because when this when that episode dropped, it was when Uvaldi shooting also happened. Um, bad timing. It was not good. Yeah. They did, yeah. But I it, it just yeah. happened. But I was well, not just that, but it was just like the sentiment, and it was just like you watch it, and you're like, you know, like um, Muslim community has to like they grew through that ever since nine eleven, right? So oh, like how they get yeah. treated with that but kind of they, stuff. But they like, they they went in on that. They were yeah, like, but they went in on everything. I was just like, yeah, yeah. I sat there and I'm like, and I was sitting next to my wife, and then we just sat there. And I'm like, did they just do that? I like looked over. I was like, oh. But you know what? The funny part was that they were all ready to get their IDs out. Yeah. No, that's <laughs> like one moment where I was like, that's so sad. That really. I, sucks. That they were just like prepared. Like they just They're held like, it up. Hey there. Like, no. Yeah. Like I told, the, yeah. Yeah. It, and it was it, one of those things where even for me, like, because we go to the temple, right? And we take off our shoes. And that was just like a little thing. But yeah. like, I noticed, I sat there and like, it was funny. I didn't even say it, but my wife was like, oh, they didn't take off their they shoes. They didn't take off their shoes. And I was just like, oh, they didn't take off their shoes. No. Whoa. The disrespect. <laughs> yeah. Because I was like, I thought about it the same way. I'm like, because uh, half my family is Buddhist. So I'm like, I see, like, every time we go to the temple, I'm like, oh, take off my shoes. Yeah, you got to take so off your shoes. So if I see, because yeah. I remember if when I was younger, if I see someone's shoes on, I'm like, what are you doing? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So oh yeah, like they didn't that, have even shoes in their house either. They took off. Yeah. They took off their again. Shoes like the there's yeah. like the relatability on like a lot of like the little things where I'm like, oh, I get it. Now I feel yeah. Yeah. So, okay. Yeah. I totally get really what cool. you were talking about with the cops. I was like, ooh. Some yeah. parts I was like, this is a little too real. This is yeah, no. But again, like we had a lot of those moments, and it's the same thing because it kind of they they again I appreciate media like addressing things because it's not like they mm-hmm. just hide it under the rug like when it was back with um Captain or uh, Falcon and. Winter Soldier. Oh, yeah. They they address like all that. The racism. And the racism. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Essentially, yeah. like it's nice to, it sucks seeing it, but it is nice to know that it is being brought to light, and I think it's important to like have that exposure, right? Yeah. No, like, I, totally I know agree. some may feel like it's being shoved down your throat, but again, uh, to me, it's still better to show it. And it was done. Even though it was uncomfortable at times, I was like, yeah. it was done. Yeah relatively tastefully and like relatively like not not too much yeah they they didn't go over the they didn't push yeah. the line mm-hmm. um but yeah i totally agree with that how do you feel about the gins it was a twist i did not expect that yeah i was really confused <laughs> i mean did you makes... did you notice that um they were really nice to her and in the same episode they tried to kill her yeah i did <laughs> i was like okay yeah, it was crazy i was like <laughs> no it was such a switch but it was like you you get dropped with the idea like oh they're gins i'm like oh that makes sense oh wow that's cool but also aren't gins like the gray area of like good and bad yeah they're so like basically the shortcut version of what a gin is is that they're basically genies yes um that's like the shortcut version of it but they're also they're so they're ghosts within the the muslim culture um and they're very like they're kind of like known for like their like devil demon like powers and stuff because they're ghosts and it like uh, yeah our friend says it, it, he didn't want to continue it because that's like dark stuff for for his community um but they don't touch on that too much i told him no. that they they described what a jinn was and they like you know explained what they were i think in a well-mannered like disney-fied way and then they left it Mm -hmm. like that um but yeah i thought the jinns were interesting they i don't know how i feel about uh cameron's uh mom dying like that (laughs) and just leaving him all alone no, I think I think 
it was very abrupt, but I think it was a relatively decent plot device where it was kind of the irony of the the mom can be there but she's not trying to be like essentially she's more focused on going home than like family yeah, than while family. like kamala is the flip side where family is important type deal right that's yeah. like one way i interpreted it there's like another way there was a moment where i was like oh that's another the like, good parallel as well or like how their flip side yeah um so i, I didn't just, i just I, felt bad yeah really it's th- again that's why it's supposed it's supposed to kind of feel that way and it and she was like all and when like Kamala said all he wants is for his mom to come home yeah and she's like okay then out and then, then offs herself uh, yep and then it's but then it was really sad when you hear uh Kamran like say oh where's I'm just gonna wait for my mom I was like he mm. said a couple times in like, the, like mm. the fifth episode I was like uh, yeah yo mom's off to herself <laughs> yeah but speaking of that part i think it's really good it's really important now especially with the announcements that we had recently where we now have to differentiate and this is the word i could remember before in another episode or for oh, Thor: yeah. 11 thunder yeah it's the it's now multiverses versus realms which is that what i the, really words are hard words are we hard forgot. my wife had to tell me later she's like realms i'm like thank you <laughs> But it's like we get like the um, what's it what's it called here for Jin? I forgot their home place all of a sudden. So, I confused it with the power and like. So the... basically, Jins they are so they're from this verse. Well, they're from like the same. The same universe. Uh, universe, but their dimension is. That's what it was. Um like extended out so it's like like they're parallel they're parallel so they're parallel and they're on top yeah Yeah. Yeah. so they're so they're jinns because they they live in the in-between basically yeah um yeah so their their role is on top and basically the whole issue was that um cameron's mom wanted to like go home but if she went home their home would have eaten kamala's like universe basically our our our, MCU, our plane. But yeah our plane yeah. so i was like oh this is um complicated and it was explained in about five minutes <laughs> yeah no and i guess the one thing was i kind of wish i knew why or it kind of is implied why um what the grandma's mom so kamala's great-grandmother mm-hmm. it was implied why she ran away because it was very overbearing and she probably didn't want to be associated and that's why she was hiding yeah. out. Yeah. But I did want to like kind of solidify like verbally here why, because they were trying to go home, and I don't know why like the great grandmother didn't want to help. And I guess I, because yeah. then I also got confused with like her getting the bangle at the end. And I think that you remember it was very early on, and there was oh, like that huge yeah. break, and then it shows her being in like in uh, India, yeah, where, and I couldn't t- I and at the time I didn't realize it was. That was after. Oh, that, part. that was like, after imme- that part. It's technically immediately yeah. after that part. Yeah. Because I was like, I thought that that part was just like the fake story or type deal, but then now here's the real. And now here's the real weird. one. Okay, it was like weird. it was like but, a fake out. No, but yeah. it was like part of the story. It was part. Of, it yeah. was actually like yeah. timeline wise correct. So. I thought it was, it was interesting. What would you think of the end? What would you think of the last act? Are you? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> What? Well, what? I thought okay, so like the underlying story, um, Kamala's like basically great grandmother's story. I thought it was very well done. Like it was, mm-hmm. you know, the arc was there, and then plus on top of that, her training and everything else. She, you know, got back from her mom. Blah 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 blah. Her all her fights, everything's done. <laughs> like for her in this series. That- that part I felt like the series was done, but then yeah. they had one more episode. <laughs> but then they had one more episode, and then the episode ended, and I was like, I, it, "This is Marvel. There is an end credit somewhere." <laughs> and then the end credit hit, and and I was just like, "What the hell is gonna happen here? She's sixteen. Like, what is she gonna do next?" I was wrong. Captain Marvel came in. That's what. <laughs> basically her and captain marvel just switched 
Just yeah, I had to like read up on like switched. they just switched, right? Because at first yeah. I was like, she didn't transform into her, right? No, she didn't. No, she literally because, just switched. Yeah, something because, uh, glitched. I think yeah, because my glitched. wife thought that Kamala changed into Captain Marvel for some reason. I was like, no. If she did, why is she looking around why the room she, confused? Yeah, yeah. Because, looking on the posters, like yeah, what's it's going like why on? would why would you be confused at your own room? You yeah, I would be looking at my hands at that point. Yeah, um, no, but they they switched, and that means that Miss Marvel will be in Captain Marvel too. The Marvels <laughs> in the Marvels in. But they make sense the Marvels because there's because there's I see what they did there. <laughs> I just, we didn't know what they were talking like i didn't know if it was talking about like the core or like you know the marvel core or yeah like, the, all the- um all i forget what to call all of a sudden but you know essentially like anyone associated and the just captain marvel had to deal with her or deal with them but now we know that it now is now we know it's because fun. of this just, yeah because at this feel? point oh. how do you think they're gonna react like being in the movie together because they legitimately just switched Spots. Oh, um, and I we Kamala's, have no idea. We have no idea what Captain Marvel is at this point. Yeah, we don't know what she, where where she's at. Well, where she's at, what galaxy? Yeah. But yeah, Kamala will probably be freaking out, and then but then by the time she sees Captain Marvel, she will fangirl <laughs> the hell, like hell and back, like oh yeah, she will lose her shit. She'll lose it. Sorry, I was referring more to like how the final act was with the school and how very like coming of age esque thing was happening because they. Dealt you mean with all the, the fights and the, like, was it how they did, like, t- and... Yeah, using softballs, <laughs> using, like, uh, fire extinguishers and all that to, like, throw off, throw off this it, military level. It, com- it like, was very group. Spider-Man-esque. <laughs> yes, very. And I thought, that was, I thought it was fun, though. I thought it was really fun to watch. But it was also one of those, yeah, like, they cringy. were being surrounded the one gripe again is just the show again it's yeah, whatever S- suspense of disbelief but they they had time to write it draw out a plan and i'm like <laughs> meanwhile they're being surrounded they could easily be overrun at any point at but they had point. enough time to set up everything or draw draw out super detailed plan <laughs> plan everything get all this yeah it's, yeah anyway so. Hey, it was just, you know, Peter Parker fied. <laughs> yeah. Essentially. Yeah. 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 I thought it was good. Overall, like, I mean, we'll get into it later how, like, Disney Plus pacing is, but I thought this pacing was fairly good for a six episode show. Yeah. I think for once I was okay with. <laughs> For once, for once. <laughs> for once, I thought the six episode rule worked in its favor. Because if it was any longer, I don't think it would have worked. Or if it was any shorter, if it was five. Or if it went, yeah, but but, but six it could have been. Minimal. It could have been five. It could have been. It possibly could have, maybe. But, but six again, was its six was Miss Marvel's sweet spot. Yes. Yeah. So again, we'll see how they handle certain shows because other shows I had like this thing of it should have been just. A movie it should have been just yeah a lo- or it should have been longer like eight episodes yeah, yeah but yeah. this one i think was well paced oh i want to also add i really like the visuals because for instance whenever they had cues of like conversations like text conversations, oh, text messages yeah i love that sequence at the beginning where like they were just walking and it would just appear and on it was the, just like, on I'd, the buildings yeah on the yeah. buildings or like lights would turn on in a certain way yeah. or something was getting animated and i just thought i'm like Oh, I actually have to like pay attention. All yeah, of a you do. Yeah. Oh. But then everything was so visual. Like everything was like the colors, like it was very it was vibrant so at certain yeah. sections. So I was like, this, it was very aesthetic to watch. The plot was good. I think all the characters were very like relatable, very fun to watch. Nothing. If they were cringe, they were cringed and to the point where it was okay. It wasn't too cringy, right? It's because they're 15. We have to remember yeah. they're 15. So again, it's cringy <laughs> because of the fact, yeah. But. Overall, though, I still think I had fun watching the show. Oh, I totally agree. This was like a surprise good show. It was, yes. I think considering like, and I think it's considering how some of the shows that we have are kind of based off people that we already knew. Mm-hmm. Like, let's say like WandaVision, um, Falcon, um, Hawkeye. Hawkeye, um, yeah. Moon Knight was new. Loki. Uh, Loki. Loki was old, yeah. Well, yeah, Loki was so, old. 
So and and she's just like a new slate basically. There's... Yeah, yeah. So it was cool. It's good yeah, to see. It was. Yeah. I agree. Well, do you have any other closing thoughts? Sounds like we recommend this episode or this show. Yeah. No, I recommend yeah. the series. That's that's my last thing. It's fun. Go watch it. I had more. I think this is one of the few times I had the most fun because it was like Moon Knight was fun to watch as in like it was actiony it was interesting actiony, it was funny. yeah yeah but i think this one just hit the sweet spot it was like a good amount you know it's all around good watch yeah i agree go watch it it's only six episodes only only 40 minutes about 40 minutes each yeah yeah well i mean if you made it through this far you listen to all the spoilers so i don't even know if you need to watch it anymore <laughs> I know. Every time we say it, we're like, we recommend know, it at the like end. We recommend like, it at the end. Well, <laughs> yeah. I every time I'm like, well, if they watch at this point, that means they already yeah, know what's going on. They just want, they're just curious about what yeah, we think. Exactly. Well, thanks for tuning in. You can follow us on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, Twitter, and Patreon at Novo Convo and Govo Convo. If you're on YouTube, don't forget to hit that like button and notification bell to get upload updates for when we upload because words are mm. hard and i couldn't finish mm. that and subscribe it's a big red button below me below her below me let us know how we're doing what do you want to see next do you like the formatting do you like us once a month on fridays for our news dumpy do you like our trailer reaction? I, mean, I do i mean i do too do you want Harrison and I to read more manga? What do you want from us? Just tell us. That's her. That's her way of saying telling me to read. Yeah, more to re- manga. yeah, yeah. Cough, cough. One piece. Cough, cough. Anyway, we will see you next time. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs>